Mane. Happy New Year, everybody. I, I wish for you the best. I hope that everyone, um, you know, who make it to this year understand the impact, you know, understand how important it is. Um, because unfortunately, right now, we have to say rest and peace to a lot of our brothers and sisters. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a wonderful thing to be here, to, to be here with you guys. You know, as you know, I love it. And thank you so much for inviting me, Woody. Happy New Year, sister, <laughs> Judith. <laughs> So, um, should I go on, Woody? Yeah. Metali? <laughs> oh, God. I'm also live, so I just want to tell everybody Happy New Year because I'm on the radio. I wanted to share that moment with them. So, um, so for today, um, what it is is I wanted to share five things. And... Raison qui fait m'a dit ça en anglais, m'a dit que tout parent yo al pren ti moun nou yo pou partager ça avec yo. Et m'a dit que yo pren papier avec plume pou pren note de bagay que m'a dit yo. So, c'est peut-être ça qui fait que je dis yon m'a parlé anglais à plus. Est-ce que nous correct? C'est bon? C'est parti? Ok. So, um, what I wanted to share with everyone is that for this year, um, as we can see, it's 2025, right? 2025, when you're thinking about 2025, when you add the year, the numbers in the year, you're going to have 2 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1, that equals 5. And when you're talking about the number 5, I don't know if, you're not, if you guys understand um, about numerical values you know what it means what the numbers mean number one number two number three you know number num, number six number seven and so on so number five is a number that means change when you hear of number five you hear change so when you hear change um also that comes with chaos what i mean by that is that in order for you to have change you have to have chaos and when chaos comes you know, um, just like they usually say, whenever you see that things are getting harder, it's because you're about to be free. It's because you're about to be okay. Things are about to be to be well. So, um, number five we're looking at this year is 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 for change. And prior to that change, you may see chaos. So I know some people that are listening. They're like, okay, what about the whole thing? What about today is one one twenty twenty one. Okay, so that's number seven. So when you're looking at number seven, we usually talk about perfection. So if we're talking about perfection, so does that mean that this year is a perfect year for a change? So we're looking at a perfect year for a change. So I would like to share five things, just five things with you um, that I wish that this year you could change or you could, you could attempt, at least you can strive to change. All right. So number one, remember I said to get pen and paper because this has got to be quick. We only have so much time on the radio. So number one is know who you are and where you're from. Know who you are and where you're from. Because without that, you are lost. You don't know who you are. It's hard to know where you're going in life when you don't know where you came from. And when you know where you come from, you get to believe in yourself. You get to focus on yourself. Other people don't get to change your mind because of whatever reason. You know, you don't get to worry about other people. You worry about yourself because you know where you come from. When you know about how hard your ancestors in Haiti work, you're not going to let anybody come and change your mind and, and cause you to go do something that you're not supposed to be doing. All right? 
When you know who you are, when you know where you come from, you get yourself together. You get your head together. You become to build self-confidence. And when you build self-confidence, you will allow yourself to develop better. You will allow yourself to overcome fears and other things that will come in your life. You get to be the leader in your life. All right? So now number two. Know that there is a most high. You see, I don't say God. I don't say Jesus. I don't say Mary. I don't say anybody else. I say that. Know that there is a most high. Because God was another name that was created. And Jesus, that's another whole story. And all the other names, you'll get to know about it once you're ready for the research. So know that there's a most high, meaning you have to have a thing, a person, a higher value in your life because you didn't create yourself. You didn't just pop up just like a frog, right? Somehow, some way, something higher than you had to bring you here. So know that there's a most high. When you're confused over all the religious beliefs, there's the most high that you can rely on. There's that general principle. There's that force. There's that power within you. You can count on that. So the most high is about love, is about life, is about the truth, is about the genius within you and everything else that is wonderful and beautiful. In this world, it's always easy to indulge in anything else, to indulge in bad things, um, from talking about friends, to doing drugs, to abusing sex, to abusing other people. But when you believe of a higher power in your life, you have a different walk in this world. You behave differently. You talk differently. You act differently. Because you know that you got to do better. So you get to be in control of yourself. And when once you're in control of yourself, you definitely will be in control of everything else in your life. And even out of your life. Everything you do and everything you say will always have control. You're not going to go over yourself and do things that you don't need to do. And I must tell you, self-control is something that you must have. Because a lot of times when you see people in the street, when you see people going through certain things, it's because of the lack of self-control. If they, if they had self-control, have they had self-control, it wouldn't be the same thing. Because if we had self-control last year, there's a lot of things we wouldn't say to our brother and our, and our sisters that this year we have to say, you know what, I apologize for what I did. I apologize for what I said. And here we are. This is a new year. Can we start over? Can we do over? I'm sorry for what I did. But self-control, self-control allow you to be the master of your fate. Fate, it, it allows you to be the captain of your sea, the captain of your life, the captain of your soul, the captain of everything in your life. So now number three, you're talking about loving yourself unapologetically. When you love yourself, you can let go of fears and other things that used to scare you. Love yourself profusely. Love yourself like you're crazy. You know, sometimes we fall in love with other people who don't care about us. If we only could love ourselves that much, oh my God, it would be magical. So love yourself like nobody's business. Even when people try to hate you or make you feel bad about yourself, still love yourself. Even when you make mistakes, learn and move forward with your life. And still, love yourself. Stop and 
don't finish those negative sentences. You know, sometimes people like, oh, I'm so, you know, they say other words like silly, like stupid, like ugly, like don't finish those sentences. You know, love yourself. You love every bit of yourself, every ounce of yourself, every inch of your body, every every part of your body, every every single thing about you, every word that comes out of your mouth. Learn to love them too. Therefore, control what comes out of your mouth. Number four, every day set yourself, um, set your intentions for the day. Don't just wake up and just go about the day. No, that's not how it goes. Always start the day with an expression of gratitude. All of the things you've experienced in the past or are for the past. They're not for now. Leave them there. Start the day with thanksgiving for the blessings that are on their way to come to you. And if you do it like that, if you focus on, on, on the positive things that can happen in your life, then positive, positive things will happen in your life. But if you wake up and, you know, you rise up from your bed and you don't say anything, you don't say thank you, you don't say anything, you just go shower and, you know, for some baby, <laughs> and then you just get up and jump in your car and leave? No. How do you expect your day to be good when you rise up and you didn't set your day to be good? All right? Now, number five. You must be creative. When you're creative, you can't be bored or annoyed. If the creator had no creativity, we would not be here right now. And imagination will stimulate, stimulate your mind. It will expand your mind. Creativity um, helps you to also reach your goals and aims in life so you can be who you are and who you want to be and who you need to be it will also get you to create new beauty out of um things that were perceived to be ugly ones so be creative and stay creative creativity can even help you if you're depressed, anxious, or even suicidal, because it keeps you occupied, it, even interested. You know, if the creator, like I said, was not creative, you would not be here today. It's creativity that has this world, you know, going. That has us here. It's creativity that allows me to be on this phone with you right now. If somebody was not creative for me, for them to go play around with things and then eventually create a phone, I would not be talking to you. If someone was not creative enough to create a radio and allow all these different, you know, levels to, to be able to, to talk to me right now, we would not be talking. So everything is about creativity. Everything you look around, that it may be World Disney or um, some different water parks, you know, or even a town or even the roads or even Legoland that's about to be built up here. So stay creative. So I hope you remember everything that I shared with you. Even if you don't remember them, I'll remind you again. Number one is... Know who you are and where you're from. Number two, know that there is a most high. If you don't believe in anything, know that there's a most high. Number three, love yourself unapologetic, unapologetically. <laughs> I love the word so much, it never comes out right. So number three is love yourself unapologetically. Number four, every day set yourself, set the intention of your day. Number five is be creative. So remember what I said, this year 
one one 2021 is a perfect year for a change so i hope that you get yourself ready for that change because the reason we miss out on opportunities sometimes it's not because opportunities never come but it's because we are never ready for them when they come when i introduce you to that person guess what you were not ready to sing you were not ready to perform you were not ready to do whatever that you needed to do in order for this person to pay attention to you to say oh my god okay this person has talent so it's not like you never get the stuff that you're looking for but it's that when the stuff comes to you are you ready so this year is all about change be ready thank you Dr. Love. <laughs> <laughs> no problem no problem <laughs> Definitely. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate everything you're doing with it. This is a, I mean, you know, I love the show, you know, um, and I want to wish everyone a good year, a good year, a superb year, and I want to wish everyone a good year, that we don't have a year, we don't have a year, Côté nouye, parce que des fois tout, um, moun yo koné, moun yo gon ide de ki es yo ye, men gen de kote ke yo rive, la yo wè lot moun ap fè lot bagay, yo senti yo jenè pou yo, pou yo, pou yo montre moun ke yo ye ya. So, m souhaite ke ane sa nou pa pe pou nou montre moun ke nou ye ya, paske ou sonje ke nou ta pale, lo mette pi yo Haiti, lo, lo soti yon kote ki gale Haiti. Li fò sonje ke ou son moun ki supoze vin meyer, ou ap tout meyer de ou menm nan supoze soti, paske ou soti nan ter ki superb, nan ter ki pozisyone kote ke moun ki soti la dan yo, se de meyer. Paske nou ka wè ke Haiti tout, Haitien tout kote, nou reprezante moun tout kote, se nou menm ki a la tèt nan plizyon kote, menm si gen lot nan Karayib lan, Men nou konen ke Aisyen reprezante, Aisyen vreman, si nou ta pran tan nou pou nou ta fe istwa, nou ta fier de Aisyen ou pou deseri de bagay ke nou fe, deseri de kote ke nou rive, ke lot moun pou ko pret pou yo rive. So m sonje ke ane sa na sonje bagay sa yo, na sonje ki moun nou ye, nou pa pe ki es nou ye. Merci, merci. Nous même tout. Thank you, thank you. You too. Yes, be safe. Bye. All right, guys, that was a radio show, a radio model live in, in um, Spring Valley in Rockland County. Um, I had an invite, and um, I just wanted to share with you guys. Um, hopefully, you were able to hear, because I know this was low a little bit. I didn't get to do some... Um, you know, all the technical stuff um, by the time like we get here. So nevertheless, I just wanted to wish you well. I wanted to wish you a wonderful one. Um, I hope that you guys stay safe this year and you do what you need to do. And as you hear that I was talking that this year is going to be the year for the change, whatever that you've been talking about and you haven't done whatever it is that you keep saying and it just never happened you know 
some people keep talking about going back to school some people keep talking about um relocating some people you know everybody has different goals so whatever your goals your goal is this year is certainly the year to get it done and i think i did um some live maybe last year and i was um telling you or was it maybe in one of the um page that i have nevertheless uh, i think i did say to get ready if i didn't do the live properly i think i did write it on the page to tell you guys you know get ready get yourself ready for this year um because it's gonna be that year it's gonna be that year where we need to um get the changes done you know everything we've been talking about or even more we need to get all of that done so i hope you do i hope you do get it done and i hope you have a wonderful year because we had a very tough one um somewhat last year and a lot of although we are supposed to be wearing masks but at the same token that we're wearing the mask a lot of masks of some other people fell off so we got to see who they are you know um i'm sure you got to see maybe some friends that you had that you thought were your friends and um suddenly the way that they were acting with you you realize that maybe they're not your friends they're not who you thought they were and um and that's for many folks you know it wasn't only for like the specific friends that you had it could have been for family members it could have been for people you grew up with and all of a sudden you realize like oh my god i can't believe this person did this 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 person's supposed to be you know uh, my friend so um it is what it is but you know i just hope that you get what you're looking for and everything get to fall in 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 the places in the places they need to be um i wish you well um and that's about it like i said the year of change year for the perfect change or the perfect year for the per, for for a change i don't know you tell me so um peace and blessing until next time um we'll talk again hey gerald hey ab uh percy how are you happy new year too darling happy new year to all of you guys and thank you for being here let me see um some other folks are here i can never see i tell you guys every time yes i'm opening the eyes on you okay i tell you guys every time for me to see you you gotta talk if you don't talk um it's hard for me to tell so uh okay anyhow so it's all good have a great one it's been a pleasure be safe if you're partying and um if you're home it's a great time to meditate and think about how your life is going to unravel for the you know remaining of the year all right take care Mwah.